Namaskara, this is Guru Prasad and welcome to Belisiri. Today, I'm going to talk to a very special person. He has learned hydroponics from me. He has done lots of growing himself. Uh, as I say, Jai Jawan and Jai Kisan, he is both. Okay. He was a, he was a colonel and he's retired and now he's a Kisan and he has grown so many things, you know, microgreens, uh, vegetables, indoor, outdoor. Let's find out from him. Uh, please uh, subscribe to our channel and uh, also press the bell icon so that you get the notification whenever we upload any video, right? So I hope this is useful. Please like it and share it with your friends. Okay, let's get started now. Uh, sir, please introduce yourself and uh, tell us why exactly you started this uh, farming, you know, was it there uh, before or you just started after retiring? Well, I'm a retired person based in Agra, in Uttar Pradesh. And uh, I had a small garden in my balcony, uh, where that is where I started for a number of years. And uh, there we started because there, there was a lot of pollution. So to check the pollution, then in the corona, uh, when corona crisis occurred, um, there was a, a problem of getting fresh vegetables. So then I thought of uh, growing uh, my own vegetables for myself. And uh, meanwhile, I learned about hydroponics and I, I uh, made a working model of uh, NFT on my own. And uh, by and by, uh, then of course I did the online course um, uh, in 2021. And um, Guru sir has been very uh, supporting ever since then. Uh, of course I made a lot of mistakes also uh, along the way. Uh, but then, uh, as on date, I am confident that, yes, if I take up a big project, if I get the opportunity, uh, then I can, I can do it, you know. Okay. And uh, during the course, I remember, uh, sir, that you had said that I, I can do hand-holding, but I cannot do spoon-feeding. Correct. <laughs> 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 Thanks for remembering so, that, sir. <laughs> yes, yes. And uh, but uh, your your model of uh, the model that you follow, uh, I feel I feel that it is uh, very helpful for your students. You are always available with <laughs> your weekly calls and and the number of WhatsApp groups that you have formed. Thank you. So uh, uh, that is how it is. Okay, thank you, sir. Um, you told me why you got interested. You know, I think Corona during Corona time, it was like kind of uh, uh, made you to do this. And uh, how you started your journey was uh, with the small setup, right? The you, I, I don't think you started with NFT system, right? Well, uh, very, very early on, uh, I had uh, got a small system of a twenty planter system. Mm -hmm. uh, as I said that uh, initially, I, I myself made a working model okay. on my own with whatever little I had. Okay. And then, uh, uh, of course, uh, I've been through deep water culture. I've been through bateau buckets and, mm -hmm. uh, and of course, NFT. You know, I was, uh, by and by, I was able to raise my capacity to about 500 plants. In oh, wow. NFT. Okay. 500 plants. And uh, initially, um, you know, it probably it happens with everyone, uh, maybe overconfidence or, uh, mm. uh, you know, because hydroponics is a bit of a science, you know, also. True. There, I mean, it, to some extent, why bit? It is an exact science. So initially, I did not measure the TDS. I did not measure the EC, but still I got results. Okay. <laughs> still, still I got results. And then uh, later on, uh, I started, uh, of course, uh, uh, with your guidance. Uh, I've been, uh, and of course, using the nutrients which I got from you, Grow as well as Bloom. Uh, mm -hmm. I have used both of them, and they have given uh, very good results. Mm -hmm. And uh, I've been able to grow uh, chilies in my deep water culture. 
chilies i tried in nft also but uh, you you may recall and you may remember that it was uh, at the at the height of the summers and so the most of the ch chili plants in the nft they bolted right and uh, the egg plants are still continuing they are in the nft and by and by uh, uh, this is what my advice to others also is that uh, start with de de deep water culture mm -hmm. just start make, make, make a start with just take a bucket put a uh, sort of a net pot there and you know and the and the uh, and the bubbler and uh, then uh, on your own you will realize that if you want to do it if you want to do it on a large scale then you then nft is the way nft is the way and uh, and also uh, try, in your journey try to focus on a particular crop like i focused on to spinach and mm -hmm. uh, and i i got good results with uh, with grow uh, as well as uh, you know um, and i have been able to maintain the you know the 5.5 to 6.5 that is the ph level and 2.1 to 3.1 that is the ec level okay uh, that i have been able to maintain and uh, in fact i set up a uh, small distillation plant aro cum distillation plant at my place mm -hmm. and uh, i i started using uh, distilled water and aro water all um, right yeah super so you what that is a great advice you gave sir so for beginners start to start with uh, deep water culture you know before even starting nft you know i have seen so many failures uh, in nfts uh, who are who, who are who are starting uh, initially and they have done a big setup and they are not able to uh, manage it properly that's because they don't know anything about how they really behave in water right water culture so deep water culture is the best way to start with initially and um, uh, you are talking about uh, the heat right so is that the most challenging uh, thing in agra agra is a little extreme uh, weather right in summer and winter is that right yes uh, that is a challenge but it can be met you know by uh, by uh, using uh, naturally ventilated polyhouses Yeah. Uh, you can you can uh, go in for a naturally ventilated polyhouse, and with uh, with a sort of a five foot uh, cooler and an exhaust fan, you can control the temperature inside the polyhouse. Okay. Even in even indoors, you you can um, you know you can either go in for air conditioning or or for some sort of a duct system. Duct. Okay. So where the where the um you have a bigger cooler and you install a duct for cooling that uh, room the, the indoor room okay and uh, uh, ultimately it is that you have to give somehow give uh, the right environment to your to your plants, plants for yeah. them to flourish correct they will only flourish if you are if you are able to give the right environment to them like in my case my egg plants in the nft system which are indoors um they they have had uh, flow, flowers have uh, appeared four five times so far oh. and i am still uh, hopeful that with the use of bloom they, they will, i will be able to convert them into egg plants. definitely definitely <laughs> i am not giving up they are very strong plant very sturdy plant with uh, strong and and the roots are still white or really yeah. fully white rather and awesome. uh, so uh, you know egg plant last for a number of uh, for for a long time so i am still hopeful that i, I will be able to get uh, uh, hydroponic brinjals absolutely you will <laughs> so you can just parcel me some of them <laughs> so anyway um um uh, where do you sell your produce sir i i think you are growing uh, along with the leafy greens you are also doing lots of micro greens which i think you are already doing right i think trishika you know so, uh, so far uh, i have not uh, concentrated very much on the marketing side okay it was uh, i i have concentrated more on uh, uh, more on the uh, on getting the that kind of a confidence level okay you know as you mentioned uh, in a nft system Uh, there are some uh, daily uh, issues daily problems like leakage like um, uh, you know 
and, and uh, which you have to deal deal with. Mm. And uh, uh, as far as the microgreens, yes, that is one. Of, you know, when I when I try to lift out my mission, that is one of the missions. Whomever I meet, I I I tell them that uh, you should uh, drink wheat grass juice daily, and you should consume microgreens, particularly microgreens of um, sunflower and peas. And okay. you can grow microgreens uh, yourself also with whatever material is available in your in your kitchen. They are, they are really good for your health, and in the in the in the long term, you realize that even uh, some patients, uh, you know, their relations come to me uh, mm -hmm. saying that uh, that my relation is uh, suffering from uh, cancer, and the doctor has advised that uh, he or she should take vitras daily. Vitras oh, daily. really? Okay. So, so the microgreens. Uh, you know they they have antioxidant properties, uh, anti-cancer uh, properties, and they are helpful in uh, and hi hi hypertension, diabetes, and ditto for uh, wheat grass juice also. You should drink wheat grass juice daily. This is okay. what I tell people. Yeah. Super. So how how much time you spend uh, daily in gardening? Well, I am a retired person. I am here from ten to eight in the evening. Okay. I am <laughs> doing it on a full time basis. Okay. And I have nothing else to do <laughs> except to, and I keep referring to your reference material very often, very frequently, Thank particularly you. the, uh, the yeah. and I, I also remember you taught us how to do the plant inspection. Okay. And, uh, you know, so uh, those are some of the good uh, things that I learned when I did the course with you. Thank you, so sir. So what I say is that um, I tell people that uh, they should uh, grow their own vegetables and mm. they should make their roof green. True. They should make use of the, the, the roof, uh, particularly like uh, you, you have been uh, doing a, a major effort, it seems, in Bangalore that to, to encourage people to go, go for roof gardening or terrace gardening. Yeah. So similarly, uh, I've been, uh, I want to encourage people that they should construct uh, naturally ventilated polyhouses on their roofs and do uh, gardening because that is how you are able to then protect your plants from insects, from birds, from monkeys, and you are able to give the right temperature, humidity uh, to your plants. Awesome, sir. <laughs> Great advice. And uh, what, what is what do you think is the I mean what do you want to do in the future? Are you going to scale it up? You want to do it in a big scale and you want to market your produce or sell your produce? Yes, in due course that the scale will definitely come. Um, and uh, for the time being, it is uh, what I'm doing is I'm growing. I'm doing it more of a, a more as a hobby. Okay. And. Uh, and uh, I'm uh, I've been uh, growing for my own consumption basically. Okay. Really. Okay. But what is your? Uh, you have a uh, organization. You want to talk about it, uh, like Trishika Organics? Yeah. I uh, during the Corona crisis, I started a small uh, uh, firm called uh, Trishika Organic, and um, so that that will become the platform for me. Uh, you know, we have our own website and we, we are registered on Amazon. Okay. So uh, in due course, uh, when I do scale up, uh, maybe that will become the platform that will help me to market my produce. All right. All right. Super. Any, any uh, what is the big takeaway from uh, your, your journey so far? Um, I, well, think I, that... I, I made several mistakes. Okay. Um, and during my journey, particularly with hydroponic, yeah. uh, for example, I tried to grow cabbage uh, in two-inch net pots, mm. which is a big no-no. Uh, yeah. <laughs> as for you, <laughs> yeah. And uh, so, such like uh, mistake, then not monitoring the TDS and pH and uh, EC levels, and uh, not using uh, distilled water yeah. or, or RO water. And um, so such like mistakes uh, one learns from, uh, as uh, is also the case with uh, when you're doing gardening, you make mistakes and then you learn from that. 
and uh, but uh, but uh, what i would like to tell uh, uh, newcomers or uh, beginners who, who join you as your students mm. is that uh, uh, you should they should re religiously follow your rules <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> whatever rules you make correct, you know, they, correct, should, correct. they should be with closed eyes follow them they will, Absolutely. They will not <laughs> then uh, you know they will not fail if, you, if they follow whatever rules you make and you you convey to them and and <laughs> of course they should refer to the reference material frequently and uh, if need be they should they can take out printouts from there you know True. and keep them handy yeah so that's what reference materials are very important. Even I have opened the forum now, and uh, you are you are sharing so many important uh, experiences, and uh, I, I was telling you to also upload it there, so that it is it it should be at one place. Otherwise, in WhatsApp group, it will be lost somewhere. And as you rightfully said, <laughs> some people even uh, expect uh, that kind of information also, like okay, uh, which plant to grow in which net pot kind of information. That is very uh, you know. <laughs> I, that's what I tell, you know, no, don't expect everything from me, you know, you also try something, maybe something I did not try, you try and uh, you also tell me because I'm also learning from you, right? So it's like we are learning together. So thank you so much for uh, being there. And uh, one last question and uh, very important question I want to ask is, do you think farming is a profitable business? Yes, uh, it is a profitable business. But the farming that I have in mind and that which the one which you teach to your students is that you have to get your own hands dirty. True. It is not the farming uh, where you are, you consider yourself that you are a landlord and somebody else is doing exactly. everything. You know, I, I think that uh, your personal involvement, involvement and, uh, you know, like you say, a green thumb or whatever. <laughs> that you have to dirty your own hands. That sure. kind of farming, if you do, and uh, what uh, you you teach and you uh, uh, encourage your uh, students to mm. follow, uh, I think it can be profitable. It, you cannot do farming sitting in an air conditioned office. <laughs> Beautiful thing, sir. Beautiful thing. You told a very important thing. So uh, if people understand this, they will definitely uh, consider this as a very you know more than profit. It is like a very uh, beautiful you can enjoy this farming you know that's how that's how we should start rather than you know uh, only money in mind because we can we can earn money in different other ways here also you can but uh, it all depends on how you involve yourself great thing you know, if, if you will allow me uh, in 2020 when i started mm -hmm. uh, with tomato plants so then i used to go around asking people that does god live in a tomato plant <laughs> and and <laughs> then I used to tell them that you take care of uh, take good care of one tomato plant yeah. and you will realize and you will find God there. Absolutely. <laughs> that is true, you sir. You will find God in a tomato true. plant. True, true, true. <laughs> Amazing. And even uh, you are telling, no, like if you go inside your farm and if you are feeling uncomfortable, then your plants are also feeling the same, right? So you have to provide them such an environment so that they feel good. Then they will make you feel good. <laughs> yes. Maybe we can close the with that statement. You know. Sir, thank you so much, Pradeep, sir. And uh, Jai Hind. And thank you for thank uh, protecting you our country. And now okay. you're protecting our, your plants. <laughs> Great. Yes. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Bye.